Good morning. Hey, it's Wednesday and I'm on the Willoway dock. Let's take a walk through the dock and look at these great looking plants. All right, first up, let's look at these uh, grasses here. You got a lot of nice color, beautiful plants. So this grass is uh, Carex Everillo, and uh, Carex is a very hardy grass, and uh, you can see this beautiful chartreuse color. This is a newer one, Carex Everillo. So here we're looking at Itea. This is Henry's Garnet. Very nice, three gallons. You can see we're starting to see that fall color on them. We'll zoom in here on the palette. You can see uh, that beautiful deep red color. You guys just brought in this pallet of uh, seven gallon burning bush and uh, they're tying it up getting ready to load it but you can see the beautiful color that's starting to come on it that red color that uh, people are looking for in the burning bush and uh, you can see the value on these big beautiful seven gallon wow check out these roadies here i'm looking at a seven gallon shinoides and uh, you can see this is a big beautiful rhododendron here the guys are doing a fantastic job on all of our rhododendrons but you know, Shinoide is a dwarf variety, and you can see here how nice and full it is. Good size. Let's take a look at these boxwood. Here we have our two gallon. These are green gem, and uh, really nice twos here, as you can see. So here we have Thuja Fire Chief, and uh, this is an improved uh, uh, arborvitae, and you can see that the color is just outstanding. Great for fall color, and uh, it's, it stays together, doesn't splay out like some of the old varieties. Check this one out. This is Thuja Fire Chief. And over here we can see that Spirea is starting to get some color. This one is the uh, one of the proven winner selections. This is Artisan. And you can see it's starting to get that kind of a purple to burgundy hue to it. Really nice in the landscape. Spirea Artisan. So you can see the guys are checking in this order here, but I wanted to show you. Look at these three gallon procumbents, Nana. Look at the size of that. What a value on that one. Here's another value plant. This is uh, Spirea Bloomerang Dark Purple. Uh, good value on these threes. Here's another newer uh, Spirea in the Double Place series. This is Doozy. And uh, you can see it has a really nice red flower in season. Still has some color there, but now it's going into its fall color. And uh, check this one out. Very nice threes. Look at that fall color, guys. This one is Doozy. So here we have our three gallon azalea Karen and look at the size of those you know all our three gallon azaleas are looking great and then I'll give you a look at a boxwood this is our three gallon winter gems. Well, in the background we're looking at our giant uh, 25 gallon green giants and uh, the color that we see here those are Deer Villa Cool Splash and then next we have uh, Flagella Spilled Wine again really nice deep burgundy color you know, always we see Mr. Bowling Ball, we got a great crop of threes. And then we see the color here is uh, Hydrangea Bobo. And you know, we'll look at these threes. They got nice, uh, nice size to them, good bud set on them, great fall color. You know, we're starting to get some cool weather, so you know, we may uh, lose some of that flower here soon. But we got a couple weeks with these. Here we have Bobo. Oh, more of those Bobos. Here we have our three gallon blue stars. And again, that gives you some really nice color with that steel blue. You know, we'll pan up over here to see those uh, fire chiefs are very popular today on the dock. Good color on those. Nice plant. More azaleas. And look at the color on these three gallon mop cypress. I mean, exceptional value here, guys. Look at that. Three gallon mop cypress. Just going right down the line here. We're looking at our uh, three gallon. These are green mountain boxwood. And uh, you can see the really nice shape to them. These would be great for fall sales, landscaping, and go right into Christmas. Three gallon green mountains. We see more green mountains in the background, and those are our bigger sevens, but check out these plants. Another color selection here. We have a new one. This is Carex uh, Feather Falls, and uh, it has really nice green and white variegation. Nice, nice looking grasses. And then look at this one. This is a, a popular one from uh, Proven Winners. This is Black Pearl. Ferns are very popular here, and look at this one. This is a tassel fern. So uh, this is great in the landscape. You know, if you're doing a show, these uh, these always hold up well and look great in the show. This one's tassel fern, 1970. A few more azaleas on the dock today. This one is pleasant white in a three gallon. Yeah, look at the size of that, guys. And then we'll go over here. This is uh, puka nuts improved. Light lavender flower. It gets a little bit larger in size. Great looking plant. So be sure to check out our three gallon azaleas. What a value. 
Here we're looking at our two gallon grasses and this uh, morning light here is just sensational. Good value on this one. Here we have uh, ivory halo and I showed you these. I mean the, the foliage is done for the year and uh, what remains though is these gorgeous red stems. You know if you plant this one you got the beautiful foliage all summer long. As you get into the winter these stems really show off uh, in that snow. This one's ivory halo. So again we're seeing some really nice heuchera showing up here with color. A lot of nice uh, hues for fall. We're looking at uh, ostrich fern here, nice 19 centimeters. Another grass that's very popular, this is uh, ice dance. Again, grasses are still coming up to the dock here. We're looking at our three gallon gracilimus. You can see they're starting to plume up, so this maiden grass is very popular. Three gallon gracilimus. Here we're looking at uh, more of the double plays. This is double play gold. You can see it's starting to get a little bit of its winter hues. It gets a deeper yellow to almost orange. And then we'll swing over here. This is another proven winner. This is called Glow Girl. And uh, you can see here, this almost has a few of peaches and coppers to it. Very nice plant. Three gallon Glow Girl. Oh, here we go. Here's some of those uh, seven gallon green mountains out where you can see them. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a little bit bigger plant for the landscape, this one to do it. This is our seven gallon green mountain box. So here we have our three gallon. This is uh, hydrangea, little lime, and uh, short stature plant. Again, loaded with buds, and uh, we'll see how the weather cooperates. But um, you can see here, very nice full plants. They're still budded. We could see some flower come on that if the winter holds for us. But in any case, this is a very real value at a three gallon pot. Hydrangea, little lime. Well, the color we have here is uh, the red drift rose, and. Uh, you can see there's still bud and bloom. We'll zoom in there. So until we get a hard frost, these drifts are going to just keep giving us color. And then here we have our PJM Elite. And a very nice three gallon plant. You can see they're loaded with buds. Definitely a must have for spring. Well, we've seen our big sevens. And, uh, you know, these are three gallons, believe it or not. And uh, you can see here that they're just starting to get into their fall color. And uh, that only intensifies as we get into cooler temperatures. So here we're looking at uh, three gallon. These are Alberta spruce. Very nice looking plants. Uh, these are geared up to go inside here. And I wanted to show you our three gallon holly. This is the royal family. It has the male and female together for pollination. Very nice three. This is royal family. Well, this is another order of those three gallon azaleas. And again, this is Karen, which we've seen earlier in the video. But uh, you can see how consistent the crop is three gallons. This one's Karen. Well, we can see the trees getting staged to come into the dock here. These are all 15 gallon trees. You can see they've got a really good value on these. They're tied up, but I think you can see the height on those are very nice. Full headed trees, good value. Got a great selection of our potted uh, trees and also field. We have uh, some great selections in our field, so be sure to watch the video. Hey, look at the pool on these seven gallon tacks of six high. Nice, consistent plants. Beautiful. I just pulled one of these out. They're getting ready to load, but it gives me a quick shot here to show you these uh, seven-gallon taxis densiformis. Nice size to them. Good feather. Great for landscapes. Seven-gallon taxis densiformis. I just pulled one of these seven-gallon. This is a uh, bloomerang dark purple in a tree form. Look at the head on that, guys. This is uh, an exceptional value for a container tree. This is seven-gallon bloomerang dark purple. One of these 15 gallons off this order on Hicks High, and you can see uh, nice full plants got a little feather to it. So, if you need a little big, bigger plant than those sevens, we got these beautiful 15s. Here you can see a palette of uh, hydrangea, and very popular though. And this one is Hydrangea Annabelle. And um, you know, this is a native hydrangea to most of our shipping area. And you can see uh, we got some really nice threes, good canes, good size on these. Beautiful plant, Hydrangea Annabelle. Here we're looking at some uh, Paint the Town Dianthus. This one happens to be fuchsia. And uh, more heuchera, some asters. Let's pull one of these off to show you. Again, this is uh, the dwarf version of what we've seen. This is uh, Itea Little Henry, and this is a proven winter selection. So I showed you the straight Itea Henry's Garnet earlier, and I kind of referenced this one, so I thought I'd show it to you. It's, uh, it's still got that great fall color, shorter statured plant. IT is just a wonderful plant for the landscape, especially if you want that red fall color. This one's Little Henry. Here we have another hydrangea. This one is a Corsifolia or Oakleaf hydrangea. And uh, this one happens to be Alice. 
very popular one. Uh, has really nice white, clear white flower to it, and uh, you know as this one matures, it gets that real nice peeling cinnamon bark. Beautiful plant. This is hydrangea alice, three gallons. Well, that uh, bright yellow in the back is Thuja Forever Goldie, which is a very nice plant. You can see we have some Coreopsis showing up here. This uh, Nepeta is Junior Walker, another very nice uh, perennial. And uh, look at the iris. This is uh, variegated iris. And, uh, you know, this is a statement to the color. So if you're planting this one in the landscape, you can see it's going to give you some kind of color all the way to frost. A very popular uh, plant, especially in commercial use because it's uh, such a resilient plant. This is uh, Rus Grolo and a uh, very tough plant. It's uh, got a nice fall color as the season progresses here. Tolerant of most soils. It's beautiful three gallon Rus Grolos. And, uh, this one is Purple Pillar and a very narrow columnar habit and uh, great flowering. I mean we, we've seen these things flower all summer. And keep in mind it is October and look at the bud set on this one. Very good one. This was a hibiscus purple pillar. Proven winners. Here's a palette of our three gallon endless summers. Let me show you these threes. Can you believe that? So our guys, uh, our growers, say our guys, um, they've done split trims throughout the season, keeping them short, in shape, and looking good. Here we have it, our three gallon endless summers. So here we see the guys unloading a truck uh, of B and B. You know, and our field teams are out getting those trees dug, so definitely get your orders in. Um, you know, it is October, so you definitely want to get those orders in and get stocked up and ready for uh, your next job. Check out these one gallon of Stilbys. So this one is Fennel, and uh, not so much the variety, but the size. I mean, when you look at our Stilbys, you can see that they're nice, big, heavy plants. A Stilby Fennel. And to pull one of these three gallon Densiformis off to show you the size. Uh, very nice plant, good value on these for landscape or retail. Just to just show you our consistency on those three gallon uh, Green Mountain Boxwood. Look how nice and full they are. These are uh, three gallon Ramnus Fine Lines. And uh, wow, look at the size of these guys. They're every bet tipping 30 inches. Nice, full, heavy plants. Ramnus Fine Lines. Here's another look at uh, some perennials, and here we have Liriope, very nice full Liriope in gallons. And then we see the, the Heuchera again, and uh, you can see a nice selection of those good colors right now. Our next crop is uh, coming on, and that will be what we'll ship for early spring, but uh, give you an idea of the, the size. And uh, these are good to go right now if you're looking to throw some color in for this fall. Here we have uh, Pieris, and uh, you can see here that this one is a beauty. This is Pieris Katsura, and it's in our Plants at Work program. And uh, they're just loaded. All the Pieris right now are just loaded with flower buds for spring. Very popular spring plant. This one, as it gets new growth, gets a very nice deep red coloration to it, which makes it a little unique. This is a good one now for in the spring. This is Pieris Katsura. You know, lavender is still looking really good. We got a selection of lavender that's all out and ready to go. I'm just going to pan through. So we still have some perennials, but this one again is another look at uh, the bloomerang. And uh, these are dark purple. Can you believe it? I mean, we're into October, almost November, and we still have flower on these. Syringa, bloomerang, dark purple. So we're starting to load this dock up for uh, shipment today. You know, another look at those three gallon endless summers. They're just beautiful. But here we're looking at our roses. You know, these are uh, two gallon uh, knockouts. And, um, you know, they still have some bud uh, on them, showing some color. This is Miracle on the Hudson, which is one of my favorite reds. And uh, you can see this nice, deep color red on these. Still got some flower and buds. This is a unique one. This is called Color Cocktail. This actually gives you three colors of flower. And there's still some buds to open yet in there. Nice color on the Yucca Color Guard. And this one is Hot Paprika. Very popular plant. Oh, here we got some more of those uh, Paint the Town Dianthus and then uh, Lavenders again. We got some nice looking Lavenders coming out and then Hellebore. You know, I wanted to show you these. I pulled one out to show you. Very nice full plants and these are the first thing to, that we're going to see flower on. So uh, you definitely want to get these in because they take the cold and uh, they got great uh, color combination. Here's a very popular grass and we got some really nice three gallon. These are Carl Forsters. 
Look at that beautiful color in this grass. Again, we have a lot of nice grasses. And they're just starting to come into their own, pluming up, and uh, starting to show their fall colors. Here we have our five gallon. This is Buxus Green Velvet. Look at that beautiful plant. Bounce over here, this beautiful silver color is gray owl juniper. And uh, you can see nice, big, heavy three gallons. Nice color. Our seven gallon, these are Buxus Winter Gems. I mean, look at the size of this plant, guys. What a value on these. Here's a look at our three gallon Buxus Green Velvet. Hey, landscapers, check this one out. This is Ilex Galabra Densa. Here's another look at a boxwood. Here's our seven gallon green velvets. Here we're looking at our 15 gallon uh, weeping cherries. We have both the snow fountain and uh, the double subs, but uh, they're a gorgeous plant. That's a quick walk through the dock today. I wanted to give you a look at uh, the plants that are available and we have so many more, but you can see there's still a lot of great fall color and plants that are new and exciting for spring give you a look at some things maybe you'll consider for your spring order. We have evergreens, we have great perennial color and foliage, flower, and um, you know these trees are just looking outstanding. So be sure to check out our container and field specimen trees and uh, geez I hope we're loading this truck for you.